y'all. So I just got back from the grocery store this morning. Unfortunately, ClickList was booked out because we are supposed to get snow this weekend and I was not able to do my normal ClickList order because I forgot to place it last night. And by this morning, there were no time slots available. So I dropped Paxton off at preschool and then I took my two-year-old and my infant with me to the grocery store. Now, I never do that. I hate to grocery shop. I don't do a few things with my kids and grocery shopping is one of them. But this morning I tackled it. It was quite hilarious. I wish I would have gotten video footage while we were in the store because my two year old did not want the car cart. So he sat inside the main cart and there were groceries stacked all around him. Like he had like pizza over his head and like canned goods and he was holding popsicles. It was a mess. We were stopped by multiple people and they were like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize there was another baby in there. So I actually just didn't get a few things on my list because there was no place to put them, but that's okay, I'll just go back another day. But, um, so we survived. The babies were actually really, really good and um, one of the workers helped me out to my car because I had two carts to go out to the car with. So we survived, but I figured I would do my very first grocery haul. So I have five kids, so there's seven people in my family. Um, and this week, I did the grocery shopping for $168. Now, I did have a few things already stocked in my freezer that I didn't have to buy, like some meats and then some canned goods and just some other random items. I do need to make a small Costco run, but I don't know if that will happen this week or if I'll just wait till next weekend. But I figured I would show you what I got. Um, I was happy with that price. Now, I will say that we do not buy all organic. All of our options are not super healthy, so sorry about that. If you don't really like watching grocery hauls that don't have a lot of health food in them, this isn't the one for you. This is real life with five kids. Um, I feed them a healthy diet, but then they also get some junk food here and there, and we like to have some snacks on hand. This is all of that stuff. So it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and some desserts. So I thought I would start off with just showing me, you my meal plan for this week, and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, so this is this week's meal plan. I'm not great at meal planning, but I do try to at least have a general idea of what dinners that we have. I only meal plan for dinners. The rest of it, I kind of just see what we have and just make stuff. We eat a lot of cereal for breakfast. Um, lunches are very sim simple, just kind of like look and see what we have. I do keep a few things stocked for my husband for lunch, just if he's home um, working out of the office, that way he has something. But tomorrow night, um, Nick and I are actually going out with friends so my mother-in-law will be here with the kids, and so we're just making simple pizza. Sunday night, I'm gonna do chili. Sorry for the babies crying in the background. I think they're fighting over goldfish. Um, Monday, I'm gonna do chicken and rice. Tuesday, tacos and Spanish rice and corn. Wednesday, leftover chili. Thursday night is mine and Nick's um, date night at home, so we usually just let the kids potluck, um, let them pick what they want for dinner. A lot of times that's like cereal and fruit, but that is what it is, and then later that night, we either get takeout or we make something nice for ourselves. Friday night, we're gonna do spaghetti, which I hate spaghetti. So I'll probably make that for the kids and then I will eat something else. I usually do spaghetti and salad and then fruit for the kids. And then Saturday, I think we're just gonna do um, breakfast, either like for like a late, like a lunch brunch type thing or we'll do breakfast for dinner. So that's the meal plan and then I'll show you what I got for $168. Okay, so here's an overview of everything I got for 168. I did go to Kroger. Um, I used to be a religious Aldi shopper, but we moved in May and we have a Kroger literally like next door basically. So it's just so convenient. So I go there a lot. So basically we shop at Kroger and Costco now. Um, every once in a while I'll venture into Aldi, but knowing that I had the kids with me this morning, I was not doing that. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what we got. Um, so we'll start with drinks. I got orange juice. My husband and my oldest love orange juice. And then we all like orange Gatorade. Um, lemonades, this is our favorite. We go through so many of these in a week. I will say that we probably spend way too much money on drinks, but we really like different drinks. I needed more coffee creamer. And then I got some like strawberry banana smoothie. Nick likes to drink this with like a protein shake. Um, got regular milk and then almond milk for Grant. Um, and then back here, we got a few baked goods. I got angel food cake, my daughter loves this. And then these, my um, four-year-old calls these baby apple pies. And he loves these for breakfast, so I just grabbed these for him. 
And then my husband likes to just grab these muffins um, on the go in the mornings. So yes, I could make these and save money, but this is just simple. I also got two things of wheat bread and then some tortillas for tacos. And then my daughter loves this little French bread. Um, we'll probably use this for like a dinner as well. Then I got um, some butter, we were out, and some ranch. My um, four-year-old loves to dip what he calls his hot chips in ranch, which is just barbecue chips. Got some guacamole, some more chicken broth, because you never know when you're gonna need that. And then I splurged on myself. Mrs. Butterworth is actually my favorite syrup, but I like never buy it. Usually we buy Costco um, brand syrup, and then if I do buy it at Kroger, I usually just buy generic brand. And my husband always makes fun of me because he knows I love Mrs. Butterworth's. So today I just spoiled myself and I got, I got the old lady. It reminds me of childhood. Cool. All right, moving on. Um, all the kids love these for dessert. So I got some of those. Um, sometimes we do ice cream, sometimes we do popsicles, but these are just an easy grab and go. I got some more um, hot cocoa mix. My daughter and my four-year-old love to have hot cocoa. Um, these, don't judge me on these, but the kids love these. They call them um, three-minute pizzas, and they're a super simple grab-and-go snack. I can make one of these and feed three kids at one time, and then I just do, like, some fruits and, like, a goldfish or something just for a simple, quick lunch. Not super healthy, but you know what? They like it. Um, I got some more peanut butter, and then my husband had been asking me for ramen, which is hilarious because it reminds me of college, like, back when you couldn't afford to feed yourself and you would just buy this. So I got him some ramen to put in his like quick um, grab and go lunch. And then I got some of these. We've never had this flavor before, these soft baked banana bread, but I figured that might be good for Grant in the morning. And I got more of these um, Z bars, the iced oatmeal cookie. Davis and Grant both love those. And then I got some little muffins. And my kids call this melon. I don't really know why. My daughter has always called it melon but um, they really like this oatmeal. And then I like to have this on hand um, just for sandwiches or whatever. Super simple. I usually just make a little bit of this and put on a sandwich for myself. And then I got multiple different cereals. We're big cereal eaters, so just Original Life, um, the generic Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then Mini Wheats. And that will probably last us half the week and then it'll be gone and I'll have to go back for more cereal. But it is what it is. Okay, then I got um, I got some sausage gravy mix and biscuits. My four-year-old requested gravy and biscuits, and I grew up where you did not use gravy mix, but I still haven't mastered making gravy myself. So my husband makes this for them. And then I just got original cinnamon rolls and orange cinnamon rolls. I personally find these disgusting, but everybody in my family likes them. I don't know why. I think they're gross, but they all love them. Back here for fruit, I got some diced pears to put into lunch boxes and then strawberries. And then I got raspberries, bananas, and grapes. And then right here is kind of like our dinner section. So I got two things of rice, this Spanish style. We'll go with our tacos. And then this long grain and wild, I'll just do chicken and rice one night. And then I got corn. And this one bag of corn will last us for two dinners. So I'll make it and then half it and save half of it for the next day. Um, I got my husband some of these. They were like a, the pre-made or pre-seasoned fish. I'm not a big fish eater, but he is. And so I figured these would be good for him on a night when we're potlucking. So I got two of those. And then I just got sausage for breakfast. And then I got ground beef for tacos and two pounds of it will be for chili. I don't normally buy it in the roll like this, but it was on sale today and really it's the same thing as the regular package because I'm not buying like all organic or anything like that. Then I got spaghetti um, and pizza for tomorrow night. And then over here for canned goods, I got some stuff to go with chili. I had some of the things I needed, but I just grabbed the rest of the stuff and then some spaghetti sauce. And then for tomorrow, I actually am taking green beans to um, the dinner we're doing with our friends. So I've got some green beans. And then back here, we have um, yogurts. I like to buy these little individual yogurts for lunch boxes, um, some applesauce for lunch box. I like to eat this in the morning. It's just the vanilla flavor. And then like a big thing of applesauce for the kids. And then we just have kids snacks right here. We've already broken into these boxes. 
um, wheat thins. My kids call these paw crackers because their um, grandpa loves to eat them. So got those for them and then two things of goldfish and I grabbed some vanilla yogurt raisins to let Grant try. So that's all I got today for 168. Um, it should last us a while and now I'm gonna put it all away. Okay, so I thought I would show you how I put everything away. Um, so we have a fridge that has like the double doors, thankfully. It's amazing, I love this fridge. It was here when we bought the house. So um, I try to keep milk right here. We have one gallon that's almost finished. Um, the rest of the drinks I put up here on this shelf. And then we have bagels, uh, some leftovers, and then yogurt and applesauce, butter, and then here's my husband's like muffins, eggs, and then we just have like leftover chipotle and stuff. All the fruit, and then in here, I put like all the quick grab and goes for the kids' lunches, yogurts, all that jazz. And here's like our vegetables, cheeses, lettuce, all that jazz. And then down here in this drawer, I keep like deli meat. Here's our biscuits. I had made some pancakes the other day and then like all of our little containers of things. Um, and then condiments in the door. I need to clean this fridge out drastically, but that's what we're working with this week. And then down here in the freezer, I just put the meat. In our garage, we have a deep freeze. So I put a lot of the frozen goods in here. So um, here's the pizza. And then we have a lot of Costco stuff in here as well. Then I just put the desserts with the other dessert and then just a little three minute microwave pizzas. This is not organized at all, but I'm so thankful that we have this. Okay, so a few videos ago, I organized the pantry, and for the most part, I have been able to keep it organized. So I just put all the new groceries away, um, and I was gonna show you how I did it. So I put all the bread stuff and the tortilla shells with the bread, the extra peanut butter, syrup, uh, bananas, and then the apple pies back here. And then I put the extra angel food cake with these baked goods, all the cereal. It's just lined up by matching type. And then I put all of the bars in here, so the Z bars, the little banana nut baked bars, oatmeal. And then I put the um, sausage gravy back here as well, since that's like breakfast stuff. Then all the kids' snacks, so I got the muffins, I've got the yogurt covered raisins, all of those are in there. And then we have goldfish. These are Chipotle chips that we had Chipotle last night, so those will be gone, but the chips are still in order. And then down here, I just put, I could have organized this better, but I'm gonna be using these things within the next couple days. So I just put the spaghetti and the rice right there. And then the wheat thins. And then in here, I put the applesauce and the pears, all of the canned goods. And then down here, I put Nick's um, ramen. So that's the first time that I have put away groceries in an organized manner, and I feel good about it. We have lots to recycle once again, but it's put away. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like seeing grocery hauls for a large family, just let me know and um, I'll try to do it more often. Next time I go to Costco, I'll definitely do a um, grocery haul of the things that we buy and we stock up on. We have a shelf in our storage room that we call our Costco shelf. So I do buy a lot of their snacks and sometimes cereals and just different things in bulk. That way I don't have to buy them weekly. But um, if you all liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and we will see you on the next video.